Sachi and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share how I make my favorite fabric masks and I like these contour style with side dots because I think it looks better on your face when the mask doesn't bunch up at the sides like this because with the darts it lays flat against your cheek and I think it has a little bit of a slimming effect. Maybe just a little bit. First, I made a contour style mask pattern and I added half inch horizontal dots, like this. To make the contour style mask pattern, you can trace around any contour style mask you already have or you can download the free pattern from my website. This is a piece of medium weight gingham check cotton folded into half to get both right and left pieces from one cut. I like to line up the checks like this so that the pattern is alternating in the center front of the mask when it's made up. I like using as little pins as possible, so I usually just hold the pattern down and cut around it with my rotary cutter. Or sometimes I use one pin to secure the pattern onto the fabric and they do the rough cut and rotate the piece as I go so that I have a comfortable angle at all times. I use this bottom weight cotton tool for the lining. I find that it's easier to breathe in a mask that is a little on the stiff side. I think when fabric is stiff and keeps the shape of the mask well, it ends up creating a little air pocket between your face and the mask allowing to breathe better. You can also trace around the paper pattern. Pin the top and the bottom layer together and cut off all the markings. With right side together, sew the center front with a quarter inch seam allowance, starting at the bottom. And without cutting the thread, continue sewing the next piece. Do all the sewing you can at this point. Batch sewing like this saves you a little bit of thread and time and also lets you start the next stitch smoothly. After sewing the center front, open the mask with the right side facing up. Push the seam allowance to the left under the fabric, then stitch from the right side starting at the bottom of the mask. Now you sew the side darts. I didn't transfer the dart shapes from the paper pattern when I was cutting out the fabric. Instead, I'm simply folding the mask in half horizontally and marking 2.5 inches for the dot length. Then I start at an eighth of an inch in from the folded edge, angle out for half an inch, pivot and stitch straight toward the 2.5 inch marking. If you want to be super accurate, you can also transfer the dot shape from the pattern using a transfer chalk paper or another fabric marker.
This curvier side is the top on my mask pattern. On the lining piece, make the dart lay toward the top using an iron or one of these handy seam rollers. On the outside piece, make the dart lay toward the bottom of the mask. Now put the outside fabric and the lining together. With the right side together, lining up the center front seam. The seam allowances should be going in opposite directions to reduce bulk. Fold the half inch side seam allowances to the wrong sides of the outer and the lining pieces. And sew the top and bottom edge seams, leaving the sides of the mask open. Flip the mask right side out and shape the mask. If you're using my mask pattern, the lining piece is made to be a little bit smaller than the main piece so the lining doesn't peek out. Iron or roll out the seam is flat. Make sure to keep the edge of the lining just a hair inside the edge of the main piece. I use these flat mask elastics which came with adjusters in them. Sandwich about half inch of the elastic ends between fabric Stitch over it a couple times to make it securely attached. Then continue edge stitching around and attach the elastic on the other side. Finish edge stitching around and your mask.
task is finished. I like to add some cute accents for children's masks so that they know which side is up and so that they are excited about wearing their masks. Here I'm using an iron-on patch. Make sure to iron it from the wrong side too. Or you can hand stitch on a tiny bow. Here are the finished and ironed masks. They're definitely not a replacement for medical grade mask, so please use your own judgment when to use it. But when I need light coverage, having a cute mask makes me feel just a little bit better about the whole thing. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.